What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the set. This What's is CJ's. What's happening? Peter. What's happening? This is CJ's first cooking show. I'm CJ. Yeah. Right over here's Nate. Yep. Right over there's Ethan. Mm -hmm. uh, and let me go ahead and get this out of the way. If you do not enjoy cooking, if you do not enjoy Dr. Pepper, if you do not enjoy Sloppy Joes, if you do not enjoy quoting movies, <laughs> you will not enjoy this. Today I'm taking a classic recipe, which I actually did a really fantastic one, like Come two on. years, a year Come ago, on. whatever. A Sloppa Joe. A Sloppa Joe. Is that the name of this? It's a Sloppa Joe. Today I'm going to take a similar form of that recipe. I'm going to be making Sloppy Joe egg rolls. Hooah. Hooah. And I've got a sick, gnarly sauce that I'm going to be making with it, Ooh. utilizing none other than Dr. Pepper himself. Boom. He'll be here. Oh, I got a bug in my cup. Bummer. You a bug in your cup? Nah, dude. All right, so before we get started, before we go down the adventure of this delightful recipe, first thing that you want to do is get your Blackstone behind you. Well, it wouldn't be behind you, it'd be in front of you. It'd have to be your bowl. <laughs> Derailed. Shut up, Richard. I got my 28 inch right back here, heated up. I've got a pan where I put some vegetable oil in and that sucker is cranked up to 11. Does that mean it's louder? Is it any louder? Well, it's one louder, isn't it? And so that's heating up. We're gonna get it to like the 365, 375-ish marker. We'll see how we do. But before we do that, my friends, it's time to ring in the new crew. Ringing in the new crew. Mm. Mm. Ringing in the new crew. Mm. 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 We're gonna work. keep working. <laughs> <laughs> Going to pretend that didn't happen. All right. So first off, I think that this is a, a noob, a new crew. Uh, but JMG0879 says, "Love my new Blackstone. Your videos are awesome, and the food looks amazing." Wow. Uh, also said, "Lasted in the Arnold Schwarzenegger reference." I don't mm. remember what that was, but I'm sure it was a great one. Oh, oh I, I was Benny. Oh, yeah! uh, the next one is Jeff Kruger. As in Freddy. Is it Freddy's brother? Yes, Freddy's obviously. baby bro. Obviously. <laughs> He's been watching and enjoying the videos for ages, but finally subscribed. So technically, you're new to the crew. So yes. welcome, my friend. And then third is Timoth um, yep, Timothy Kelly. Timothy. <laughs> First time viewer. And then Timothy actually had some really awesome notes for me. It was a really long comment, which oh, we're not so gonna nice. ring right now, read right now, but we are going to ring right now because. It is, after all, called Ringing In The New Crew. We gotta have a theme song or something. Ringing, ringing In The ringing New in the Crew. crew. Alright, like I said, I actually made this recipe a couple years ago mm. and have the rest- Oh. While that's happening, let's cut up some oh. bell peppers and some onions. That's what you wanted to do first that's anyway, right? That's obviously what I wanted to do yeah, because- of course. Why would anybody want to start on the beef first anyways? So we're gonna let that cruise. Guys, I've got a green bell pepper here. I feel like this is probably classic Sloppy Joe. Classic peg. <laughs> that not just classic peg. I grew up with bell pepper in my Sloppy Joes. I don't know that they had them in the Sloppy Joes at school though, but my mom mm, definitely I don't, I don't think they would have gone that extra expense. That extra step. But I do step. know they were extra sloppy. Lady, you're scaring us. So basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna dice up our bell pepper, get them into small little bites. You could well, make them go larger. In an egg roll. Yeah, you could make them larger if you want, but I recommend that they be smaller bites mm -hmm. because they are going in an egg roll. Next we've got our yellow onion. I like yellow onion, mainly because they're sweet when they reduce and they start to caramelize and they just taste really freaking Straight magical. good. We're gonna drop our beef down, start chopping that up, season with a little bit of kosher salt, black pepper, and it's time to toss those bell peppers and onions in oh, and yeah, let the caramelization yeah. process begin. End so my fat. friends, sorry about the little mishap there at the beginning. Hey, are you? Actually, I'm not really, it happens. Well, it's time to get on to the star what are of you the doing? show. Yeah, throwing today, pots and pans. <laughs> you know, just throwing stuff around over here. We've got um, we got a saucepan that's hanging out on the range top side. Don't you do it. Because I Don't am going to admittedly it. steal a technique that I used from you, but I'm going to use a better beverage. Okay, Instead of it. using root beer, we're going to be using Dr. Pepper, which is going to also play in to our beef because we're going to reduce some of this in our beef. But first... You're making Dr. Pepper syrup? But first, 
I'm going to make a Dr. Pepper syrup that I'm going to be utilizing in the special sauce that I'm going to have. You really got to tell. So here's the best part. That's all you got to do right there. That's it. Just put Dr. Pepper. That's it. Just put it in the saucepan and um, let it start cruising. But now, right behind me, it's time to get to uh, another bit of work. Dang, another little, little Dude, tomato coming in here. Tomato paste, man. Okay. This is how we're gonna get that rich, yummy tomato flavor. Extra that, sloppy. That makes it. I made an extra sloppy for you. Now you might think to yourself, oh, you don't need to use much. Actually, you you need to use most of this tube. And there's really no cool way to do this. There's nothing <laughs> sexy about this awesome tomato paste. But, it's like toothpaste. Yeah, it's gross. Um, I'm pretty much gonna use uh, the entire yeah. tube. If you've never used tomato paste, it's basically just a really intense tomato sauce, so to speak. I mean, it's yeah, like it's condensed. Uh, condensed flavor. down. Now, whoa, whoa, what? Now, more. We're gonna get some Dr. Pepper, Dang. and this is where we're gonna get some sweetness that comes into play. Okay. So uh, it's gonna create that real velvety um, sweet. Nature to us. What is that, velvet? <laughs> yeah. What is that, velvet? <laughs> it's still my favorite voice that you do. Um, because we do want this sloppy, however, we're not, you know, in a traditional sloppy joe sense of, of things, you're cooking this usually in like a pot or a pan. Right. So you can let like it tomato sit. Sauce. Yes, so you can let it sit in a sauce and stew kind of. But this, we need to reduce. We don't want it to be up. that sloppy. No, but we do want it to be somewhat sloppy. And to create sloppy. that sloppy nature, see, look at that. We're already oh. starting to get that red, that deep, rich red tomato color. Plus, the Dr. Pepper is reducing with it. It's like making its own sauce. It's making its own sauce. Now, while also it's going whoa, there. Whoa, whoa, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. We're going to add a little bit of whiskey burger to this. Because we're going to do, we got flavors that are going to be jumping you're a, all day long. You're going full Jordan Belfort here. <laughs> Jordan Belfort? Into the stratosphere! Yes, I am. <laughs> I love how you made that reference. <laughs> That's awesome. A little bit more DP. And you know what? We might do that Dr. Pepper one more time, but you see how we got a real wet meat yeah. here? That's what we want. We do not want a dry beef that's gonna go into our egg roll wraps. Is Dude, the egg roll gonna hold up if it's that wet? We're gonna see because I've never done this before. Like most of my recipes Good I've Lord. I thought you practiced this one. Nope. Could be a giant train wreck. Well here we are. You'll see. Here we are. But now it's time to cruise on to our sauce. Now the sauce is a fun one because it's gonna incorporate that Dr. Pepper when it's done and reduced. So basically, here's what we're doing. We've got one part Duke's mayo, and why El Duce, do you ask? El Duce. Because it's so freaking good. So we're gonna do one part Duke's mayo. I wouldn't say one full part sriracha, but I want a little heat with this because that's going to pair really well with the sweetness that comes from the Dr. Pepper oh, syrup. Yep. We're gonna do one part Dr. Pepper. Now, I. I might add a little more because I've never made this sauce before. I've never made this recipe before. We're kind of going with it. I'm also gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire, a little bit of garlic powder, some whiskey <laughs> burger, some coarse black pepper, and uh, give that a taste and set it aside. It's, a, it's, a, it's essentially time to build. Boom. Because we're now done. So. Just like that. I just, I needed to take a breather before we start wrapping our, doing our egg wraps and all that good business. Hey, hold your hold your cup like that. Ah. <laughs> We've been laughing the entire episode. Of it. <laughs> Why'd you tell him? Because you think you're funny. You look so stupid. <laughs> I'm just eating and all. I mean, I knew that was gonna be really good. You want to try it? Just try it, dude, real quick. Yep. Oh dang. Oh, there's the sweet. Yeah. Got the sweet. Yep. There's the flavor. There's the flavor. Flaming Dr. Peppers! Bombs away. Time to build some egg rolls, man. So, egg rolls 101. Decent, uh, egg roll technique here. Oh, yeah. Egg roll 101. Yeah. See? I'll count to 10 and you better give it to me, see? You gotta have this water. And I think it's because the water activates, is it the starch or is it something else? Yeah, activates the starch and makes a seal. Sweet. You're That's, so brilliant. I know. You're so brilliant. I know, what can I say? 
I'll so we, see it. we've got <laughs> we've got these um, little egg roll wrappers here. Oh, these are great. They're so versatile too. Very. You okay. Find them in your uh, grocery store in the refrigeration hey, section. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, slow down. Sorry. Bill Nye, the nerdy guy. Hollywood only lets in one Bill Nye in a generation. So we've got help. our beef and our onions and peppers oh, that yeah. have reduced in that awesome sauce. Ooh, are you gonna do the overfill? Uh, we're gonna see. Sometimes the overfill, you gotta get one done to figure out if it's too much or not. I feel like I could do a little bit more. I wouldn't. But let's just have a small <laughs> one. Let's have a small one. Okay. So here's the technique. So once you got your filling in there, you just get a little just dollop of water and you run it across the sides here. And what and when I said it's activating the starch, it's kind of it's what makes these edges kind of turn into a glue. It's sticky. A sticky glue. You used all, all the glue on purpose. And once you rub your finger on it, you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll feel um, the, the starch glue. starting to come out there. Then you fold your corners in. Yeah, we're gonna definitely make a bigger one on the next one because this okay. is way too small. But I was just being cautious. And then we're gonna roll over. Make them longer. And we're gonna tuck them in. And then do tuck the and roll. Tuck and roll, tuck similar and roll. to the bend in snap. Like this? <gasps> Good snap. Hey, I don't know what you're talking about. That's perfect. Every time. Dude, that's okay. Perfect. That's, that's money. All right, so let's you're do that go again. bigger than that? I don't know. Maybe just a, a hair bigger. But let's repeat the process. Okay. Yeah, let's do six. Six sounds right, right? Yeah, right. We're gonna do six of these. I'm a writer, I'm all right. right. I'm all right. I'm all right. Right. Am I right? Once they're all completed and glued up, we're going to go over to our oil, which has been preheating for some time now. Again, you're looking at like 365, 375 ish. You just want to get that nice crispy exterior. Yeah. Then we're going to use our really rad cooling rack that we've got from Blackstone. We're going to move that oh, over there, put some yeah. paper downs down, pull these guys out because look at that perfect crispy golden exterior. Yeah, this is just like color. That's all you're looking for. That's time. all we're doing. We're getting the crispy crunch. That's what we're doing. Baked in a buttery flavored crush. Uh, crush. Come on. 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 All right. Let's cut. You guys want to cut one open? Let, yeah. Show me the goods. All right. Let's cut this guy right here. Don't even ask, little girl. Just bring <laughs> it. Okay. Don't just stare at me. Go. Oh. Come on now. Dude. Dude. Magical. Magically delicious. It's a television commercial. Plating this is simple, honestly. Just find a big enough plate Let's that will put hold, them on there. <laughs> hold all of your egg rolls and do more than this. I did six because it's just us and you oh, know this is just easy us. to do a ton. And then the sauce on the side. Come on. That my friends is Are you money. Gonna do I don't know. You're gonna do you Should I? You always of course. do. Okay, why not? Because I do love it. A little post dust yep. of the whiskey burger. There he is. And my friends, the color, the taste, the crunch, consistency. Look at that moneymaker right there. Let's get into it. Okay, dude, this is uh, this is money. I'm really excited about this one because I was dreaming about this sauce. You, this Dr. Pepper reduced. Did it live up to your dream? So, well, it did taste when I licked it off my finger earlier it did. The, was it, it's a done fantasy. It's, it's, <laughs> it's done paraphernalia. Uh, <laughs> paraphernalia. <laughs> <That's> paraphernalia. <laughs> I'm the paraphernalia. Let's get in this sauce. Some things shouldn't be put together to create a magical union. Other things? Should be. Is this one? Dude, the crunch. Captain Crunch over here. Mm -hmm. Here's what I have to say. Make this. <laughs> That's all I have to say. about that? Leave it in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on Sloppy Joes? Are you a fan? Uh, speaking of comments down below. We made it. It's officially time, ladies You're and here. gentlemen, for CJ's favorite comments of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. Okay. Uh, Normally we would go right into comments of the week. Wait, we're not? No, because I just ran the bumper. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I just want to say, I took another bite. That sauce was freaking awesome, dude. Good. Honestly, was it awesome sauce. It was awesome right. sauce. As soon as it hit my lips, it was like riding the lightning of flavor. It was so amazing. Speaking of riding the lightning, hey CJ, did you know? that my, one of my favorite writer directors, Darren Aronofsky, actually created the music video, The View, for the Lulu album uh, that collaborated with Lou Reed. That was the only single that released, but yeah, he created the whole music video. He said Lulu album. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know either. I didn't know any of that. I didn't care to know it. What a waste of my life. I award you no points and may God have mercy on your soul. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. A little much. 
No, I'm just kidding. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> to Ethan. You gotta remember who rings your bell. Here we go. If this is your first time making it to this segment of the show, because this is your first time watching the show, welcome. It's a fun one. This is where I screenshot comments from you, the viewers. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, I... <sighs> if you write do, it... Do, do, you know, do it again. This is a segment of the show where I screen. <laughs> this is the segment of the show where I screenshot comments from you, the viewers. Oh, you write it. We read it. Uh, so here we go, starting from the top in no particular order. This one comes from Joe Amond. Joe says, here I am, minding my own business, innocently looking for some Blackstone recipes for my little family, and I happen to stumble upon you two brilliant idiots. Whoa. Now I'm freaking addicted <laughs> to the show, and my griddle is begging for a rest from all the killer recipes. Keep killing it, guys. Ring it! Dang, all right, Joe. Uh, also, side note, he made this comment on my original Sloppy Joe. Oh, what do you know? Exo facto. This is so timely. Sure? Also on my Sloppy Joe. Dang, okay. Marv Stokes says, Dr. Pepper works better than Coke. Is that why you switched to Dr. Pepper? Because you gave me credit earlier. Mm. You're giving it to Marv. No, I, you, why would you have any credit with this? I reduced it. That's not you your credit. You were afraid of the dark too, Marv. No, I'm not. Dr. Pepper worked great. I'm not going to say it worked better than Coke. Probably but did. But that Dr. Pepper's sauce great. was freaking legendary. It's got all those, all those berry cherry flavors that mixed well. Way to go. Way to go, Moth. It was very good. Okay, dude, I, I don't know why. I, I grabbed all these from my yeah. original. All right. This one comes uh, from Rubbermaid. Rubbermaidable. Rubbermaidable? Rubbermaidable. That's just fun to say. <laughs> Couldn't find this recipe written down, so I'm watching this episode in the store and grabbing supplies as he says them. Yeah. See, that's commitment to the recipe and to the show. So, uh, Rubbermaidable. 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 Bumblebee. <laughs> Bumblebee tuna. Bumblebee tuna. Bumblebee tuna. This one comes in from Joe Bill Mode. Joe Bill, Bill Mode. Mode. Three, yep, three different names. 10,000 comedians and art pros out of work, and these guys representing Blackstone are at the bottom. The cameraman needs to shut his mouth. <sighs> these guys make any food undesirable. Okay. Are you high? Got it. They're weaker than circus lemonade. Weaker than circus lemonade. I don't, I don't I get don't... it. I won't watch anything else that they are on. Wow. Wow. Joe. Joe Bill. Joe Bill mode. Depeche mode. But um. It's a Joe Bill. Joe Bill mode. Joe. All right. Bill mode. Uh, this next one comes in from Cindy Harmer. Cindy, I'm glad that you're here. Cindy Lou Who. Cindy says, made this meal last night and it was amazing. CJ is right up there with Nate on this and uh, with this one. More like this, please. Okay. I'm pretty sure that this one came from the yeah, caramel uh, Dijon glazed pork chops. Oh, with... When you elevated, you said all nerdy and dorky. You're welcome. You're welcome, Cindy. And thank you. Ah, oh, dude, this is a great one. Um, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up with a little positivity, and guess who it comes from? Mm, Charlie Theron. Close. Joe Bill Mode. No. Okay, really? Again? Yeah. A twofer. What a waste of time watching these clowns. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps coming back. So he said he, he wasn't said he gonna watch. watch it, but he mm. did. Joe Bill. Joe Bill Mode. We'll see you down in the comments below. I can read between the lines. Read between the lines. Love that you guys are hanging out with us. Thank you for all the stuff that you guys send us to put up here on the OG oh, yeah. board. Careful. If you guys want to send something, oh, we've got some room. We'll make a little, little space over to the left of Mr. Grohl. Um, let us know. I'll send you an address. You can send us a sticker or something cool to put up there. In the meantime, definitely go to blackstoneproducts.com for this recipe and tons of others from all the other chefs. Okay, there's only all one the chef. Chefs? There's a chef, and then there's all I these saw awesome your face cooks. Like <laughs> there, go see Nate's show if you want to. Don't waste your time. Um, but then you got Betty's show, you got Todd's show, 
Bruce on the Bayou. Love it. Destination Delicious. Traveling. Chefany Tea. So good. Check it out. And we've got another one that's going to be coming soon. Shh, don't. I didn't mean to say that. Also, it's a party. Is it though? Oh. Nah, dude. Oh! <laughs> Anyways, uh, I guess that's it. That's it. Good seeing you. E. <laughs> <laughs>